Welcome to Miss Clark's chemistry class. Are you struggling with dimensional analysis? Well, I'm here to show you all of my hacks. Dimensional analysis, I know, we hate it. It is the worst. When your teacher brings up dimensional analysis, we just cringe. But I promise, if you can conquer dimensional analysis, chemistry is going to be so much easier. So let's get started. So dimensional analysis, it's just a way to convert units. The first thing we need to do is talk about a conversion factor. So a conversion factor is a statement of different numbers and units but has the same value. So for example, if I owe you a dollar, I can pay you four quarters, we're gonna be square. It's the same value. Different numbers, different units, same value. Another example of a conversion factor, one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Here I have it written more of like a statement. Here it's written as a fraction. Same thing, both of them are conversion factors because different numbers, different units, same value. Fraction is what we're going to need when we're solving with these conversion factors for dimensional analysis. First, we need to identify our given. Our given is 3.5 gallons. What are we looking for? We're looking for liters. Now, I think it's really important to define those every time. What's your given? What are you looking for? So now let's set up the problem. You always put your given on top. And I like to use these train tracks. This is not the only method. Your teacher might use something different. This is what I like. We see that unit gallons right there. We wanna convert that to liters. So we've gotta get this conversion factor here. Now I found this conversion factor on this really common conversion chart. We wanted to see if we could find gallons to liters. And here it is right here. Now, to make sure that I orient this correctly, you've got to make sure that your unit that's given comes down diagonal. That is what is going to answer your question. Do I multiply this? Do I divide this? Always going to be answered by making sure your units line up correctly. That's the whole purpose of dimensional analysis. So we're going to put the one gallon on bottom and the 3.79 liters on top. That is going to make our gallons cancel. We're left with liters. And that's what we want. We want the unit we're looking for to end up on top. And it did, so we're done. Now we can put our equal sign. Now we need to put this into the calculator. If numbers are on top, we're gonna multiply. If they're on bottom, we're gonna divide. These numbers are both on top, so we're gonna put this in the calculator. And we get some long number in the calculator, but you see I've only written down a 13. That's sig figs. Let's work this second problem. How many tons are in 9,891.3 grams? So here's our given, 9,891.3 grams. We're looking for tons. Again, I think that's important to write that down on all the problems. It seems like a little extra, but it will definitely help you figure out what you need to do. So now let's look at our conversion chart and make a plan. Okay, now we're starting with grams. So we need to find a conversion with grams in it. And here, is the only one on my chart, so this must be the right one. So this is gonna be the first conversion factor that we use. Now let's follow a path. We need to make a path from grams to tons. So let's look, is there a conversion unit with tons on it? Here it is right here, tons. Now tons is related to pounds, so let's go backwards. Oh look, pounds to kilograms, here is our path. Grams to kilograms, kilograms to pounds, so this is our second one, Pounds to tons, this is our third one. Three conversion factors, I know. It's going to be okay though, I promise. Now, look to see how we oriented those. Our givens first. Immediately put your given unit on bottom. That's gonna get us started for that first conversion factor. And so I'm looking at this first conversion factor. Grams has a thousand beside it, so I'm gonna put a thousand beside this grams. The other half of the conversion factor is the kilogram, I'm gonna put that on top. Now my grams, we're gonna cancel. But we're left with kilograms. We don't want kilograms, we want tons. So we're gonna keep the process going until we get what we're looking for on top. There's no reason to memorize, well, if it's this, I got this many steps, or this, that many steps. No, you're gonna keep adding conversion factors until you get the unit on top you're looking for. Right now we have kilograms on top, we're not dead. We already knew that though. So now we're gonna use our second conversion factor. We gotta bring our kilograms on bottom. That's gonna help us orient the second conversion factor. 
So kilogram has a one, I'm gonna put a one by my kilograms. It equals 2.2 pounds, that's gonna go on top because that's my only available space, 2.2 pounds. Kilograms cancel, I'm gonna keep going. Pounds is not what I'm looking for, so that's gonna tell me I need another conversion factor. So let's get that last one in there. Pounds is on top, let's put pounds on bottom because we want them to cancel out. 2,000 was with pounds, one ton goes on top. Ton, top, finally, that's what we're looking for. That is our key to stop. Put your equal sign and let's put it in the calculator. Now, let's talk about how to put this one in the calculator. Here, easy, two numbers, both on top, multiply. Here, four numbers, some are on top, some are on bottom. Remember, top gets multiply, bottom gets divide. So I would put in my calculator, 9,891.3 divided by 1,000 times 2.1 divided by 2,000. Divide twice in a problem? I know, it seems really weird, but I promise your calculator will work it out. Now I get some long number in my calculator. These are the digits I choose. Again, that's based on sig figs. So I've written the steps that I've followed. I kind of like to have a set set of steps to follow. So in case I get confused or I get lost, I can always confer to these steps and they'll help me. Number one, write your given. Number two, that's when we cross that given down. Then we're gonna start adding conversion factors. Now remember, we're gonna add as many conversion factors as we need until you get what you're looking for on top. So you might have to do steps two and three several times, and that's okay. Keep going until you get what you're looking for on top. That's how you know when to stop. I hope that helped. If it did, hit the like button. Do you have any special requests for videos? Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, y'all.